What's going on everybody? Welcome to Frank's Media and Reviews. Let's talk about Turbine Media, y'all. They're so good. <laughs> um, guys, yeah, Turbine Media is just a fantastic um, label um, and I just want to simply talk about them. So, uh, yeah, this is episode two of my label spotlight and of course I'm talking about Turbine Media. Uh, Turbine Media started, uh, it is German uh, based uh, there in Manchester. Uh, they started the label back in uh, 2004 with uh, German uh, TV shows and movies. Um, and then they started to uh, get into um, the US movies and shows with uh, the shows were like Malcolm in the Middle. Uh, movies were Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Hellraiser. Um, and uh, before I forget, because this recently happened like a week ago, uh, they've gotten uh, pretty popular or just they, they want to, uh, you know, broaden their their area is that they are now starting to do uh, 3D movies. And so they're calling it um, uh, the Turbine uh, Collectors 3D series. Um, and they, uh, they're doing it with three movies, um, and, uh, it is Jurassic World, Dominion, um, Minions, Rise of Gru, and The Bad Guys. Um, all of them, of course, will be in 3D, uh, and Blu-ray, and, uh, they're all in Dolby Atmos. So, pretty cool, uh, for them to kind of start that line. Um, I don't know, um, I forgot when that actually starts. I think it's... They're releasing it kind of soon, uh, but like I said, it literally was just announced um, not not too long ago. So, um, and of course, uh, I will put a link to their um, website uh, down in in the description uh, section. And yeah, um, so uh, as I said, uh, you know, they started back in two thousand four, um, and. Uh, they just have some of the best 4K transfers. Uh, the Dolby Atmos is very immersive. Um, and the different variations uh, of the releases that they have is just fantastic. Um, you know, their motto is for fans, by fans. And you could definitely tell uh, with their releases that they put a lot of thought, a lot of love. Um, it's just not a generic release. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's well planned out, uh, and the cool designs that they have on some of these, um, covers is just, uh, very, um, cool, man. If I'm, if I'm kind of being honest, um, they're probably badass. Um, so I'm sure someone out there has each variation <laughs> with their releases, um, so for me specifically, uh, I started collecting um, their 4Ks um, in 2021, I want to say, um, with the Princess Bride. Um, you know, they got into the 4K formats back in 2019 with Crash, and then shortly after was the Princess Bride. Um, with Crash, they had uh, multiple variations, you know, media book form, um, and uh, the Princess Bride. Uh, there's a standard edition, and then there's a collector's edition, which was very cool. It had a book, it had like four different discs. I mean, it was just a great release. Uh, so, something I need to get my hands on for sure. Um, and they are just an amazing uh, label that more people should just know about um, because they're just fantastic, man. So um, I am going to show you guys my releases um, and, you know, hopefully this will inspire you guys uh, to dive into that label and check out one of their movies um, because it's dang good. And I'm going to start off with a banger, man. And that's the Frighteners. This is a limited edition uh, release. Uh, I mean, this this release is so dang cool. Uh, and there's a second one with a different. Uh, it's an alternative uh, art style where it's blue and purple, blue and purple. Uh, yeah, um, Michael J. Fox is on it. The cover. Man, this um, is reference 
video and audio. It is outstanding, man. Um, yeah, so it, there's just so much stuff in this book. Dang. Or in this release, I should I should say. I mean, look at this, man. This is huge. Um, and you know, uh, it's it's in German, so I don't I don't know exactly, of course, what what they all uh, what it's saying in here. But this is a thick book in here. Um, and uh, what else? There's um, two different posters, and this is what the other. Um, version for the 4k um uh, collector's edition uh looks like um and so yeah multiple posters um you know there's different cards in here as well um you know i showed this off in one of my uh, videos but you know anytime that i can show off uh this release you, you damn right i'm going to because uh this release was only in Germany uh, there is no 4k transfer here in the states and like I said it is reference reference oh my goodness man I want to say that this release was in 2022 um, and let's see Oh yeah, there's a little um, you know business card, uh, so that's pretty dang cool. And this is a sleeved um, little release. And here's this. Here's that. And here's this. And yeah, it is six six cds man six uh, six disc that's that's incredible man it's just surprises me every single damn time i open it like that's just crazy um just a crazy release for this movie um you know it's by peter jackson uh and this is just without a doubt without a doubt one of my favorite pieces in my in collection um you know, I recently showed this off um, to uh, Ken for mid-level media, and um, yeah, it is just an amazing piece uh, to show everyone. <laughs> uh, the next one is The Deep House. Um, this is a found footage film, and this has one of the most uh, immersive Dolby Atmos is that I have experienced, um, and I highly recommend it. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is a media book, um, so it's a hard shell. It looks like a damn book, uh, and it's just a, a wonderful release for this movie um, because, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I think it's a movie that normally wouldn't get this type of release, but Turbine. Uh, did a beautiful release this has three different variations um, with the media book and wonderful experience i think it's a must own if you definitely if you're an audiophile um because it was fun it was i'm gonna you know i i i saw it once i'm gonna rewatch it again but it was just a fun experience uh to uh just be <laughs> to immersive man it was so damn cool uh, this one is one of my guilty pleasures, uh, and that is An American Werewolf in Paris. Um, yeah, uh, this movie, if I'm being honest, didn't really deserve this, this type of... Uh, <laughs> at least it doesn't warrant um, this type of release, man. The 4K transfer to this film is incredible. I was shocked how good it looks. Um, man. It looks so damn good. Uh, and just, of course, it's a media book. So it's it's another stellar um, release. Um, and guys, highly recommend this, man. I got this on Diabolic. Um, Deep House, I want to say you can still get on their website. Um, the ones that I think you still can, I'll mention it. Uh, but 
it's just incredible, man. Uh, this one is my first one as the Prince's Bride. Uh, got it on Amazon. This 4K transfer blew me away. I was shocked at how good it looked. Um, and yeah, I know, of course, Criterion just recently did it. Um, but I had this for a few years. I, um, yeah, I got it in 2022, I think. Maybe 2021. I can't remember, but it, uh, maybe 2021. Uh, but I've had this for a while and it just looks so dang good. I uh, really no reason for me to get the Criterion, but highly recommend it. Uh, next one was the movie that I got right after The Princess Bride, and that is The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This came out, I think, with four different variations. Um, and this, really quick, came out with a badass collector's uh, edition, uh, which I need to find and own uh, because it came out with a came with a book, four different disc, um, and so this had a great release, um, and uh, you know Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, you know what hasn't been said about it. Uh, the cool thing about uh, Turbine is that in some of their movies they have so many audio choices, it's crazy. Like, so, you know, not only the original uh, audio track, but uh, Dolby Atmos, uh, Aurora, or Aura uh, 3D, um, which seems specifically like in the in European uh, countries. Um, and yeah, uh, it's just a great, great um, release from Turbine. And yes, uh, you know, they do have English subti- subtitles. Uh, all the movies that I can remember that I have in here all have English subtitles, of course, in addition to uh, the German uh, subtitles. But yeah, uh, this was I've had this for uh, a number of years, um, that 2022, I, I want to say. Um, and this was just a great release. Um, so it's a sleeve, you know, open it up. Uh, it's a steel book. Here's a steel book. Um, yeah, wonderful Dolby Atmos on here. Even like the the mono, uh, you know, DTS Master uh, mono sounded really good. Uh, here's the book. Just a a stellar uh, home run release from Turbine for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, the next one is <laughs> one that uh, you know isn't the best in the series but uh you know that's leatherface i you know if i'm being honest i saw uh basement blues uh channel you know check out tony's uh, channel subscribe to him because uh you know of course he has this damn film <laughs> on 4k and i was like ooh, I, I gotta get this and so it's a limited edition uh release um and yeah, uh, this was a great 4K transfer, great audio, um, and cool design, because uh, there's multiple designs uh, for this one as well, just cool variations. And like I said earlier, there's the thought process and that that goes into each release is just fantastic, man. Uh, just wonderful. Next three are ones that I got from last year, and I am so glad I did uh, and I got these all from the website. Uh, as with Cape Light Pictures, you know, going to uh, through the website was super easy. You know, there's a Google Translate, or you know, you go to the menu, uh, just switch it from German to English. Very easy, man. Super easy for shipping. Wonderful experience with their website. So. Yeah, uh, the black phone. Uh, there is an American release, uh, but I heard that this is the superior version, uh, with, at least with the 4K transfer. Uh, this also has Dolby Atmos. Dolby Atmos is very good in this movie. Uh, as you can see, the art design is just hella cool. Um, there is multiple uh, art designs. There is a media book version of this as well. Um, if you love this movie, I highly recommend getting this release from Turbine. Um, I think this is still available on their website. 
Uh, Leatherface, um, the standard edition, is only available. Uh, next one is Renfield. Uh, you guys know, um, you know, if you guys have been following me for, um, you know, since I started at the, that, you know, I've had these for uh, a while. You know, Black Phone, Renfield, and the next one. Uh, you know, I just simply love Turbine. I always try to preach Turbine because uh, I just love their releases and not enough people just know about them. Uh, so there's the, the front with Nick Cage. Uh, here's the back with Nick, you know, right that. Open it up. There's Renfield right there. I just love Turbine and just uh, more people uh, who make videos about Turbine, the better because uh, it's all about spreading the love of physical media and just letting you guys know about it um, because they are fantastic um, you know uh, and recently original fuzz uh, made a video about turbine uh, media check his video out um, you know just again I just want to spread the love for physical media and letting you guys know that there's just wonderful labels uh, that are outside of the US um, and this is one of them just like I did with uh, the first episode uh, Cape Light Pictures is just phenomenal um, and yeah the last one is Pearl you guys know any type of chance I can show this bad boy off I will um, this is a stunning 4k release uh, Dolby Atmos is fantastic um, as you can see, the release itself, the design, um, is, is just amazing, man. I literally will make up an excuse to, <laughs> to show Pearl off. Um, and of course, like Frighteners, I mean, it's just amazing, man. Simply amazing. Uh, just spreading the love of physical media. I just, I just fucking love it, man. Uh, so that's the video guys uh hopefully uh you know you guys will check out turbine media and you know who knows maybe this video will get you guys into the label will get you guys to check out some of these movies because the, they're just am amazing immersive sound uh just a wonderful audio experience um from the label um so yeah uh, that that's it man uh so uh before i forget uh you know uh, hit that like and subscribe button if you do i'd really appreciate it uh thank you to john from let's talk entertainment uh, for being one of my uh tier members um really appreciate it he's part of the collector's tier uh, go ahead and check on the link description uh about my membership uh, if you do join, I greatly appreciate it. And it goes towards wonderful movies that I can demonstrate to you guys. So uh, that's about it, man. Uh, hope you guys have a great day. Uh, have a good one.